the Straits of Hormuz is very, very important and is strategically located, and I think we're looking for trouble because we put these horrendous sanctions on Iran. And we're also threatening to bomb them. They, they're, they're planning to be bombed. Uh, even though there's been no evidence whatsoever that they have enriched. They belong to the Non-Proliferation Treaty, which the other countries in the region do not. They have never been charged by breaking the treaty, and yet they're on the verge. They believe sincerely that that could happen. And I'm sure, just like uh, Ehud uh, Barak, uh, the Defense Minister of Israel, said if I were an Iranian, <clears throat> I'd probably want to have a nuclear weapon too, because you gain respect from that. When Libya had nuclear, you know, we're on the verge of a nuclear weapon, we sort of talked to him and talked him out of it, and then we bombed and killed him. Uh, so people who have these nuclear, it's, it's natural to say they want defense. If, they could, if you were in that, just like uh, uh, Barack was thinking in terms of that. But we are now putting very, very tough sanctions on there, which actually uh, are so bad that even Obama is not supportive of them. He's complained about them because it's going to interfere with the trade of oil out of Iran. And all oil is fungible. So oil goes to China and oil goes to Eastern Europe. So there are going to be some ramifications, and they sort of know this, but it's popular today to know how to country. We always seem to have to have a country to bash, you know. It's Iraq, and, uh, and, then, and then it's Libya, and then it's Mubarak, and we go on and on. Saddam Hussein, you know, it's endless. So um, what we do, what we need to do if you want to quiet things down is don't put sanctions on it you, because uh, it's just going to cause more trouble. Now, I, do, I think what the Iranians are doing, because it seems so logical, is they're saying, what are, you gonna, what are we going to do? You're going to bomb us. You're threatening to bomb us. You start doing this. We can't compete with you. We have no weapons of mass destruction. The most we can do is close down the Straits of Hormuz. So I think they're just doing that to say, why don't you be a little cautious and back off? And I think we should not put on sanctions. Uh, that's a, they are active war. If somebody did that, if China came and did that to our Gulf of Mexico and said, and, you know, you can't come in here and you can't trade, there's going to be sanctions, we'd assume this is an act of war. Uh, so I don't see the sanctions. It, it, it led to the war in, in, in Iraq, and it's going to lead to war there uh, in, in Iran. Matter of fact, even today, the news is saying that the president is secretly now being very much involved in the war in Syria. Uh, and, and the question is, is, you know, sometimes it's thrown to me, well, don't you care about it? Yes, I care about it, but I also care about our Constitution, I care about the American people, I care about our budget, and I also am convinced that us being there hasn't helped. Some of these overthrows of government is because we have support in these governments in the past. I mean, we used to be an ally of, uh, of Saddam Hussein. Uh, we at late once for 25 years, we propped up the Shah in Iran. So what I'm suggesting is changing all that. But if tomorrow, under these conditions, uh, if they close the Straits of Hormuz, I would not see that as an act of war against us. It would be an act of war against those countries there. But would, it, would I say throw up my hands and neglect it and say nothing at all? I would go to the Congress. I would, you know, report to the Congress. 